Coming up on this edition of Rocky Lemonel Weekly, the results are in for the water and sewer rate study. Find out how it will affect your bill. And you may not be thinking of gardening right now, but you should. We'll tell you why. Plus, we'll tell you about a one-stop shop to help you shed those holiday pounds. More news, more often, right now. This is Rocky Lemonel Weekly, so let's get into it. Water and sewer rates were on tap as the consulting firm hired to study rates presented their findings to the mayor and council. City staff from the finance department worked with Stantec on the study. Uh, we've taken a, a typical uh, customer with a three quarter inch meter and 15,000 gallons per quarter and aggregated what do those specific rates and charges mean to their utility bill and identified that from fiscal year 2018 through uh, fiscal year 2021, we're talking about a uh, 6.4 percent roughly increase, 6.3 to 6.4, and that continues at about that 6 percent level for a couple of years, and then it's going to drop to less than 2 percent um, per year once we've addressed the wastewater needs in 2022 and 2023. As part of the FY19 budget process, the mayor and council will set water and sewer rates for FY19, 20, and 21. You can give feedback at the water and sewer public hearing on January 8th. Just call the city clerk's office at 240-314-8280 or send an email or mail your testimony to City Hall at 111 Maryland Avenue. To watch the entire water and sewer presentation, go to the City of Rockville YouTube channel and search water and sewer presentation. And find out more about the FY19 budget and participate in our online survey at rockvillemd.gov slash budget. For Rock 11 Now Weekly, I'm Tony Playa. Speed cameras around Rockville are working to help make your travel safe around the city. Since the installation of cameras, there has been a significant decrease in tickets each month, and that means drivers are paying attention and slowing down. The Rockville City Police Department currently operates 17 speed cameras within the city limits with the goal of reducing speed and lowering the number of car accidents. All cameras are located either in school or residential zones and have speed limits posted between 25 and 35 miles per hour. If you go 12 miles over the posted speed limit, you will get a $40 ticket. For more information on Rockville speed cameras, head to rockvillemd.gov slash speed cameras. Rockville Mayor Bridget Donald Newton receives the Elizabeth and David Skoll Metropolitan Public Service Award from COG, the Metropolitan Washington Council of Governments. Newton was one of the three local leaders recognized for their partnership, collaboration, and service to the Metropolitan Washington region. The Skull Award is given to a local, state, or federal elected official who demonstrates leadership at the regional level. It was named after the late Montgomery Council members who were strong supporters of COG and regional cooperation. And to learn more about the Metropolitan Washington Council of Governments, head to mwcog.org. A celebration of 60 years in the making, spanning two continents, has come to an end. Join Rockville 11 on Friday, December 22nd, as we bring all the highlights from the Rockville Pinneberg 60th Anniversary Celebration. We take a look at all the celebrations, the award ceremonies, the visits, tours, and wrap it all up with the first ever October Fest. Rockville 11 brings to life how the two cities stepped up to the historic challenge set by President Eisenhower six decades ago. So tune in on Friday, December 22nd at 8 p.m. on Rockville 11 for Rockville 11's special report on the Rockville Sister City 60th Anniversary Celebration. Still to come on Rocky 11 Out Weekly, it's the top New Year's resolution every year, getting in shape. Rockville can help your resolution become a reality in 2018, and we'll tell you how. And it's a hot commodity in Rockville, Garden Plots at Wooten's Mill Park. We'll tell you how you can secure your plot for next year's gardening season. It's all on the way right after this. Introducing Ride On Extra, coming to Route 355, fall of 2017. The bus with less stop and more go. 
regular ride-on service has 80 stops between Lake Forest Transit Center and the Medical Center Metro Station. Ride-on Extra has 85% fewer stops. Plus, Ride-on Extra is all about the extras. Free Wi-Fi, USB charging ports, real-time info displays, and runs every 10 minutes. It's Ride-on Extra. Less stop, more go. Welcome back to Rock 11 Now Weekly. Calling all green thumbs. Even though it may be winter, it's not too early to snag your spot in the garden plot program at Wooten's Mill Park. The 178 25 by 25 feet garden plots are $55 for Rockville residents and $80 for non-residents, and they're guaranteed to go fast. Registration begins January 2nd and the gardening season runs from April 1st to November 1st. So don't let your winter hibernation cause you to miss out. Find out how to book your plot and get more information about the program at rockvillemd.gov slash gardenplots. For Rock 11 Now Weekly, I'm Craig Buchanan. Your Christmas tree can be the gift that keeps on giving after the holidays. Once the holiday is over, why not recycle your tree and let Rockville help you do it? The city collects holiday trees as part of its recycling program and takes them to the Montgomery County Recycling Center where the trees become mulch. You can have that mulch because it's available year round and it's free at the center. So here's what you need to do to recycle your tree. Remove all ornaments, wire, and tinsel from the tree. Place it at the curb on your regular recycling day. Don't bag the tree. And remember, artificial trees cannot be recycled. You can put them out in your gray refuge bin on your weekly trash collection day. Or if it doesn't fit, schedule it for bulk pickup and there's no deadline for tree collection. For more information on Rockville Recycling and Refuse Program, head to rockvillemd.gov slash recycling dash refuse. And to find out how to schedule a bulk pickup, head to rockvillemd.gov slash bulk refuse. A lot of people ring in the new year with a resolution to lose some of those extra pounds they may have put on during their holiday celebrations. The Rockville Swim and Fitness Center is a great place to sweat it out and get yourself on track to a healthy and fit new year. The Rockville Swim and Fitness Center has a lot of options for a lot of different age groups. This is an area where people can enjoy fitness and do a workout at their own pace. It's also an area where we have certified personal trainers available to coach people through a fitness routine, get people started um, entertaining their healthy lifestyle for 2018, as well as help with any rehabilitative conditions or special requests that customers might have. We offer Zumba, we offer yoga, we have a lot of uh, the classes that you would find at most fitness facilities. We have a wonderful Learn to Swim program. We have water fitness classes. We actually have a very robust adult Learn to Swim program. We pride ourselves on having staff of highly qualified and certified personal trainers. They're available through a request form on our website, www.rockvillemd.gov slash swim center. We also absolutely love to show off our facility and we always want to give people a tour of the facility if they have an opportunity to come check us out. Our front desk staff is incredibly knowledgeable and can help you find whichever resources you need to reach whatever fitness goal you might have. You email us at swimcenter at rockvillemd.gov. Usually we can get a response to you within just a few hours. For more about what the Swim and Fitness Center offers, head to rockvillemd.gov. For Rock 11 Now Weekly, I'm Tony Playa. That's going to do it for this edition of Rock 11 Now Weekly. Remember, you can check out the latest happenings on our online newsletter at rockvillereports.com. And join in on the conversation and check out our posts by signing up for Nextdoor at nextdoor.com. And keep up with Rockville 11 by subscribing to our City of Rockville YouTube channel. And you can follow us on Twitter at Rockville 11 and on Instagram at RockvilleMD and like us on Facebook. For the entire Rock 11 Now Weekly team, I'm Kathy Dansler. Happy holidays, Rockville!